Tonight on Northern Community News, plans for a new sports complex for Royal Park. Vendors of Brunswick's shopping complex seek action on its development and Brunswick's art precinct set for a revamp. In sport, the Faulkner Blues suffer yet another defeat in the Victorian Premier League soccer competition and in the footy, Essendon are too strong for Riddell. Good evening and welcome to Northern Community News. I'm Tamia Dontiadis. It is feared that plans to build a $24.5 million sports complex and a possible Commonwealth Games village will have a damaging effect on West Brunswick if development takes place in Royal Park. Moreland Council says any development will create major traffic problems and reduce the size and attraction of public parkland. Councillor Mike Hill says Royal Park could become the Albert Park of the northern suburbs and is particularly concerned about the park's northwestern corner. A spokeswoman for Sports Minister Tom Reynolds said that if Melbourne won the bid to host the 2006 Commonwealth Games, the development of a games village for the Royal Park Psychiatric Hospital site was only one consideration. She said that after the sports complex was built, Royal Park would gain two hectares of open space. The Moreland Council has resolved to raise its concerns with the Premier, Mr Kennett, and Melbourne Lord Mayor, Councillor Ivan Deverson. Mooney Valley residents will not be paid restitution for the closure of Essendon Hospital, according to Health Minister Rob Knowles. Mr Knowles has said restitution was not an option for residents because their money would continue to be used for public health care once the hospital closed. Mr Knowles also claims that assets will be restored into other components of the health system, which will benefit the people of Mooney Valley. But Labor MP Judy Madigan is unhappy with Mr Knowles' reasoning, saying his refusal to acknowledge the enormous community contributions made to the hospital clearly shows he has total misunderstanding of his portfolio. Mrs Madigan intends to seek restitution for Mooney Valley residents through the courts. At the Brunswick City Centre shopping complex, tenants have called on the centre's owners to provide a time frame for proposed developments at the site. Many of the vendors at the centre feel their businesses are under threat because the owner, Insurance Superannuation Property Trust, has failed to dispel uncertainty surrounding the development. Tenant spokesman Angelo Condos was particularly critical of the fact that many businesses were operating on month-to-month -month leases. He says this has the effect of reducing the long-term viability of these vendors and that extra relocation costs will be incurred when the development eventually takes place. Insurance Superannuation Property Trust Manager David Bennett says that the company understands traders' concerns and is looking forward to securing support from the Moreland Council and proceeding with the development. A family in West Preston has had a lucky escape after the ceiling of their rented home collapsed, forcing them into emergency housing. Mrs Rena Glennon woke at 3am when a small piece of cement fell from the ceiling. Moments later, 20 kilograms of cement and plaster crashed to the floor. Mrs Glennon said her family had moved into the house five years ago and on many occasions had told the real estate agent and the landlord about cracks in the ceiling. Stott Real Estate's administrator, Eagle Colbert, denied that Mrs Glennon had reported faults and defended the decision to evict the family due to the house being unsafe and to withhold a $608 bond for cleaning and repair. There's new hope for homeless youth in Brunswick as the local Rotary Club of Brunswick is to open a refuge. The refuge will be the first of its type in Victoria. According to the Rotary Club's youth director, Ms Meta Hayes, what sets this apart from other youth refuges is that young people will only be able to stay if they are at school and intend to keep studying. Ms Hayes said it aimed to give homeless kids help in their studies as well as teaching them basic home skills and how to live in a family environment. The refuge will be manned by the Salvation Army and if successful, the program may be copied by other Rotary Clubs. Brunswick Arts Precinct is set for a revamp and not all in the arts community are happy with it. Moreland City Council is considering moving visual arts away from the Mechanics Institute into a purpose-built space at Moreland Council. 
Some concerns voiced about the move were that the Mechanics Institute was working well as the gallery, that City Council was not an appropriate location for an arts gallery, and that they were, uh, there was a lack of community consultation with a decision. Moreland Councillor Andrew Rowe was quoted as saying that the Mechanics Institute had clearly outlived its ability to serve both the performing and visual arts. Mr Rowe said it was unlikely that the decision would be reversed. And now here's the news in brief. The Darabin Arts and Entertainment Centre will be lavished with a $1 million expansion over three years if funding is approved. Centre manager Jenny Campbell said proposed improvements, including a 110-seat theatre, would cement the centre's reputation as the premier facility outside the central business district. The proposed improvement would enable the centre to achieve a double-A industry rating and would generate approximately $50,000 a year in new revenue. Darabin residents risk a $100 fine if they dump rubbish or building materials outside their property lines. Chief Executive Officer Kevin Spiller said the local law aimed to reduce safety hazards and to keep construction areas tidy. Mr Spiller said the law applied to all council areas, including footpaths. He said the residents also had to prevent debris from being washed into waterways. And after the break, I'll be back with tonight's sport and community bulletins. Welcome back to Northern Community News and now for tonight's sport. The Faulkner Blues have suffered yet another defeat in the Victorian Soccer Premier League, this time losing to the Bentley Greens at Kingston Heath. It was a first half that Faulkner would rather forget. They conceded three goals and scored only one. The second half saw the Blues come back with new determination, but although they were able to score one more goal, it was a case of too little, too late. The final scoreline read Bentley Green's three goals to Faulkner's two. Both of Faulkner's goals were scored by Santo Emmanuel. This latest loss means that Faulkner, who only weeks ago were on top of the VPL ladder, are now in fourth place. The Essendon District Football League thrashed the Riddell District Football League when the two teams met recently in an interleague match. There were only two goals scored in the first quarter, with both of them coming off the boots of Essendon players. The second quarter saw Essendon score five goals to Riddell's four. Essendon's dominance continued right up to the end of the match, reflected in the score of Essendon 15-16 to 106 to Riddell's 7.9 to 51. And now to community bulletins. The Essendon North Primary School of 112 Keelor Road will hold a car boot sale on June the 20th from 8am to 11pm. The details phone 9379 3979. The Mooney Ponds Baptist Church needs volunteers for a knitting working bee to be held over the winter. Clothes made will be sent to Bosnian children. The details phone Donna on 9376 2808. The Heidelberg District's Artists Society will hold an art show at the Pines Shopping Centre at Reynolds Road, Doncaster East till June the 20th. All painting will be for sale. Experienced sailors are needed to help run a program for people with disabilities at the Albert Park Yacht Club. The details phone Commodore Peter Naismith at Albert Park Yacht Club on 0418 386 382 or Kate Mann from Tattersall's on 9277 4408. The Sudden Infant Deaths Research Foundation will run a Red Nose Day on Friday, June the 26th. Red noses, pens, business pins and badges are available from Shell, Coles, Target and Bilo. For details, phone 1800 240 400. 
The Victorian Rangers Indoor Rock Climbing Centre of 40 Mount Alexander Road will hold a family open day with competitions and prizes on June the 21st, 11am to 3pm. All are welcome and for details phone 9372 2500. The Broadmeadow Senior Citizens Group holds old time and new vogue dance lessons each Monday 7 to 9 p.m. at Little Blundell Centre, Blair Street, Dallas. The cost is $3 and $4 and for details you can phone 9309-0534. The 15th Essendon Sea Scouts will hold a trivia night on Saturday June the 20th. The cost is $10 and for details and bookings phone DIE on 9329 after hours. Male singers are invited to join the Singers of Heidelberg Life Activities Club, which rehearses from Mondays from 1 to 2 p.m. at the Rosanna Uniting Church Hall in Arden Crescent. The choir is rehearsing for the Banyul Winter Festival. For details, phone Jean on 9458 2347 or Gwen on 9457 2359. And the annual Loyola College Art and Fine Craft Exhibition will be held on June the 19th, 20th and 21st at 325 Grimshaw Street, Watsonia. Artists are invited to submit works for the show and for details you can phone Maureen Lonsdale on 9434 4466 or Lynn Fitzgerald on 9467 3872 After Hours. Now we here at Northern Community News want to cover the stories from your local area in the northern suburbs. If you'd like to help in the production of the news, we'd like to hear from you. We're looking for journalists, crew members and location camera operators. So give us a ring here at Northern Community News on 0418 379 818. And that's all we have this week from Northern Community News. I'm Tamiya Dontiadis. See you again next Thursday. Good night.